Hello map game enjoyers! It's me, Strategy Games Training here, and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 A to Z, the series where I play all the interesting nations in Victoria 2 from A to Z, and today we are going to Siam, a nation in Victoria 2 I have never played before, but it has a ton of potential to be a lot of fun. So we're gonna play it, and we're gonna play it well. And how are we gonna play it well, you may be asking? Well, so far in history, Siam has managed to stay independent from all of the powers that surround it. However, the British are encroaching on our territory. So we're gonna take that territory from the British and become super powerful. Let's do it. So we do start as a non-Western nation, but we're gonna get Westernized really quick, I think. Probably by invading a bunch of people, starting with this small state in the north. We start the game with some puppets in the north and in the east. Eventually, we want to take Cambodia, which is a puppet of Vietnam. Let's start our invasion, get some land. In the meantime, on the domestic front, we are promoting as many intellectuals as we possibly can. And we, we, lost, the, we lost the battle? How? Wow, they have like 10 troops and we lost the battle. We win the war anyway. Let's not lose again, please. We're gonna need troops if we, if we don't want that to happen, so spend money. Now we do have cores on a lot of this territory south of our nation, but this stuff is all protected by the British, which is bad for me. Ah, except this top state here is my satellite, so maybe at some point I could annex them. That would be good. So how are all you guys doing? I hope you're well. I'm doing pretty well myself. Very excited to be making this episode. And we almost have enough research points to do some kind of upgrade that we want foreign universities eventually. We are not making a lot of progress here. Westernization taking a long time. And we have like basically no military. It is 1851 and the game has given us good things in the form of our king's reforms. So hopefully this will get us to foreign universities faster. We do have better education now, which is always good. Huh. Okay. All right. So the British have proposed for us a treaty of friendship and commerce, which I think is honestly a fine thing to do because it gives us financial reforms and removes the isolationism debuff, which was really hurting our research points. So it might hurt us eventually, but there are worse things I could do. Uh-oh, France has arrived in this part of the world invading Vietnam, which is kind of bad for me because I kind of wanted to do that, but can't really do that until I get foreign universities. All right, we finally did it. Foreign universities, change our national value, productivity, I guess. And then we should really rake in the research points and we'll have a pretty good game. Modernize the military, purchase foreign weapons. Ah, shoot, why do I click those buttons? I've done this before too in other episodes. In the fine print of those purchase goods or whatever events, it decreases your research points, so it's just not worth it to do. Kinda stinks, I'm making a fool of myself. In my own Victoria 2 A to Z series. Let's request some missionaries. We have run out of money, why? And with the industrial construction focus, we can westernize, be done with the silly pre-westernization mechanics, and get started in this game. Now this takes forever, and I know it kind of dulls the front of several Victoria 2 A to Z videos, but we made it through. Now we can start playing the game for real. If you think it takes too long to westernize in Victoria 2, please comment it down below and hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you. Let's get started with some idealism. Then we're gonna bulk the military to try to take as much of Vietnam as humanly possible, and then we'll go from there. But actually, we can also centralize some of our territories. Let's click that and that and integrate this. And we've integrated a ton of our empire, including part of Malaysia down here, which is cool. Integrated all of our other smaller states as well. Gives us another national focus. So now we're making money. We aren't funding education because I didn't have money a couple minutes ago. Get some military up in Bangkok. We're going after Burma or what remains of Burma. Oh shoot, the British are going after Burma. They're at war. So we're gonna have to wait to do this war then until the war goals settle after the British are done. So Vietnam is also at war with Britain, but they're probably too strong for us yet. And Britain annexed Burma and now we can't take that territory. Great. 
So our ultimate goal here will be to unite Indochina. But for that, we will need to own Saigon and some other states, which will not be easy to do. We'll get some factories now. So I think it is time to invade Vietnam. Let's make a war goal real quick. Let's declare war, demand concession. We're gonna demand the rest of Vietnam. We're just gonna take the whole thing in one war. I'm very confident about this. And there we go, that is a pretty nice sweep. We take all of this territory, grows our empire considerably. Hopefully the French don't come for this land. And overall, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to attend to the financial front of my country because it is doing very poorly. The war basically bankrupted us. So that frees Cambodia. We will probably declare war against them later, I hope. Opportunity has struck. The British are invading this piece of Malaysia, but we have a core on it. So here's what I'm gonna do. Gonna declare war on them. Ah, oh, shoot, it didn't work because the UK invaded really fast. Ah. And that, SGT viewers, is a reminder of why even the best laid fit plans often fail. In this case, I failed. I guess I'll have to try again next time. Meanwhile, in Europe, we have the most basic and historic Europe game I've ever seen. Literally nothing special here. Now we're done with research techs for now, so we're gonna go to attrition techs and then beef up the military, probably. Time to get rid of serfdom, I think. Or actually, there are a lot more slaves than serfs, so we should get rid of slavery first. I'd like to get secondary power, but it's kind of hard to get secondary power, because my score is pitiful. All right, time to go after Cambodia, annex them, and that's it. We got Cambodia. So now the last state we need to unite Indochina is the state with Saigon in it, Co Indochina. That is going to be very difficult to get, because the French own it. So we'll see how this happens. We might have to be patient. And you know I, SGT, absolutely hate being patient. Well, I could go to war with China now and try and take Yan'an and get the money. But I don't know if I can beat China. They kind of have gulp 268 brigades. Crazy town. And now we get rid of serfdom. So unfortunately for me, I'm not really sure what other land I can take except for maybe at some point co Indochina from the French or a piece of China. Everything else is uh, pretty much owned or sphered by Britain, or like the Dutch or the Spanish or many other nations. I think we can probably take Saigon from the French. We'll just have to defeat their army and then siege it down and then prevent them from landing more troops. Easy, right? Not really, but we're gonna try it. All right, let's invade Saigon. Oh crap, we're in their sphere. No way, that is so bad. That means we have to get great power to escape them. That is so bad, I'm actually upset. Shoot, somebody needs to take us from the French sphere of influence, rapidly. Okay, so we made an alliance with the French. Now we're gonna declare war on the British for part of Burma. Let's do it, go troops, go. Sail in and do not look backwards. Ah, shoot, the French will not join this war. This is not good. I wanted the French. I needed the French, actually, because Russia is allied against me then. Ah, shoot. Britain is invading us. Not great. Shoot. Oh, this is the end. It's, it's over. We can't do anything against this. My entire empire is falling. Oh, no. And my king died. Now we have a regent. No. And they took my territory. No. Oh, Britain. All right, so clearly... Our attempt to unite Indochina under one flag was not good enough. We failed. But you know what happens when SGT strategy games fails? He tries again. He does not give up. I will never give up. So we're gonna run it back and we're gonna win this time. We're gonna westernize faster. We're gonna destroy the French and then we're gonna destroy the British and you can't stop me. It's like Borat once said, I will never give up. I don't think that's a Borat quote, but whatever. Don't talk to me, I'm grinding Victoria too. The biggest problem that we have is it's not very clear where we can take land because we can't beat Vietnam. We can't go to Burma, so we're in trouble. This time we are sieging down other countries in Malaya because they're belligerent with this country in Borneo. So we'll annex this country. All right, we'll annex this little tiny state too. And then Brunei, the state we came for. We grow, more annexation. Annex 
next two more states over here. All right, so although this looks worse than the other game, because France decided to take more from Vietnam, this time we can declare war on Burma and take some land. All right, let's go. We need this. All right, we get our piece of Burma, which, wow, gave us a lot of research points. So now we just gotta find a way to kick out the French, which is gonna be very difficult, and annex the rest of Vietnam here, which will also be difficult because now we have a truce. This run is great. We are big, we are powerful, we're about to westernize. And now we can westernize. Amazing. Can we pass some reforms now, please? Got Cambodia, and now the French. How do we beat the French? Wow, France taking even more land. Okay, so at this point, we're building the military up to fight the French. I got the British on my side. They will help me, maybe. But the UK won't join. Be better, UK. Maybe if they're not at war with uh, countries in Africa, they'll join. We'll try it. Let's do this thing. I dare you to come after me, France. Let's roll, UK. What are the British doing? The French are invading their main territory. This is crazy. Aw, oh, shoot. The British pieced them out, and I didn't get all the stuff I wanted. Boo. At least I got Co-Indochina, I guess. I'll have to go back for the rest later. That's dumb, Britain. You should have let me take the whole thing. It's okay. We are close, and our borders look pretty good. Truce until 1888? We can work with that. Yikes, France. You sure you just don't want to give me the territory? Because... You seem to have a lot of problems in Europe you have to deal with right now. And Italy, how did you lose the Papal State? That's a weird one. I'm not going to ask too many questions. And Paraguay is trying to challenge me when I played the country. Looking good, Paraguay, but you're not quite there yet. You got to conquer, I don't know, the entire rest of the country to be as good as I was. So good luck. I will say this is probably one of the most satisfying countries I've played. I mean, the borders, they just look very good like this. It is so hard to pass reforms because we have a leader that gives us minus 10% militancy. So we just can't do anything. And why does Austria-Hungary own part of Turkey, what? Ah, France has come and demanded territory from me. No, they'll have to take it from me. And they declared war on me. Uh-oh. The UK is here, though. We will defend stoically and hopefully get to take this northern part of Vietnam. That would be great. Pay the troops and pay for an invasion. Let's do it. We sieged everything down. We're going to send our boys over here to uh, Africa and win some battles. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. We can add a war goal to the French. Let's add this thing. We can add another war goal. I mean, I've never been a greedy man, but why not? More. All it took was some troops in the Ivory Coast, and I'm getting some respect. Hey, we won! The British sued for peace, and we got our territory! We got the northern part of Vietnam, and we took Yan'an, which is really good, because A, China doesn't have a core on it, because only the Republic of China has a core on it, and second of all, that's where all the money is! So look, look at the economy! Yes! unlimited money we can fund everything and collect like no taxes pretty much and the economy's fine that was an excellent war we need social reforms and for the first time maybe ever in victoria 2 i'm gonna pass the unions to get that social reform desire up because i need health care you may be asking why do you need health care sgt because without healthcare, I will never get enough industrial score to become great power. So grind that. Hey, we just signed a constitution. It was an event I clicked, but I wasn't recording. So maybe this will help me pass reforms, please. We're Thailand now, by the way. All right, now that I've wasted a ton of my research points on political thought focuses, I'm ready to click the button and unite Indochina, which will make our country have more accepted culture and overall just a powerhouse let's go we did it our flag is kind of ugly but we'll live with it and there we go that's indochina now that we're indochina we have one goal make our presence known on the world stage by becoming a great power we do that by getting bigger than spain and also incorporating the many many parts of our country that are still colonial states vietnamese is an accepted culture why is the territory that uh has vietnamese Vietnamese pa 
cops currently colonial provinces. We need to fix that. Bureaucrats. All right, it's time to state this stuff. Let's do it. Yo, Japan just removed us from the United Kingdom? That is fantastic. That means that at some point, we might be able to take some of this land over here from the United Kingdom. That would be great. Yes, we did it. Great power. This was great. Everything worked. Incredible. And we did it basically without any industry. Look how bad that industry is. It's okay. From here, the sky is the limit. We're gonna steal countries from the British as fast as we can. Our plan? Strike south to Singapore. And then, do some other stuff that I think of. Yes, finally, healthcare. Thank you, unions. Oh man, Colombia. Why? What happened to you? All right. Our invasion of Malaya begins now. We go. And we win. Yes. Ugh, do I want to join a war with the British against the Germans? I guess. I don't know. I don't know why I did that. Wouldn't want the British declaring war on me, I guess. How did the British end up at war with Portugal? Like, aren't they historic allies and right now they're duking it out in a crazy war that involves the Germans who have a lot of troops? Germany, do you think you have enough troops? And Chile, do you think you are thick enough? Oh my gosh. I made a video called How Long Can Chile Get? But this Chile has taken that in the totally and complete opposite direction. Also Austria, question marks. That's what I got for you. We have been at war so long that Portugal changed their flag. Dude, peace out already. Yes, Siam slash Indonesia found the North Pole. No, we're not Indonesia, we're Indochina. I'm so foolish. I have no brain. Comment below if I have no brain, but bro, that's good. But now I feel stupid. Please, UK, peace out with Germany. I need you to so I can use the button to automatically build my forts and my dockyards. This war is going nowhere. Give up, please. Oh, I can white peace. Oh, screw you, UK. I am out. No more war. Let's get the naval bases. We are going to be no longer allied with the United Kingdom so we can liberate all of my cores from them. Oh, we have a lot of cores on them. Wow. Let's go. Take them out. Japan, you want to get in here? No, you don't. Why not, Japan? You should get in here. Hey, 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 hey. What the heck? China declared war on me. Japan, do you have anything? Yes, you do have something to say about this. You are fighting back. How much military? tech does oh they actually have a lot of military tech this is gonna be very challenging I fear we are sieging down Britain's allies in this part of the world and we will add war goals to annex them we already did it to one and we will do it to another and then the China war Japan is winning at least it's a shame that we can't take a treaty port anymore because China did westernize but nonetheless we will be taking a state from China because we beat them not in my part of the country more so Japan beat them, but we got our state. And we're gonna fall from great power. No, no. Who is trying to knock us from great power? Oh, wow. We already got a peace deal from the British. Acquire all states with core provinces, but I want more. Give me more. Southern Malaya, I want you to. And restore order. Oh man, I beat China so bad. They fell apart into a ton of pieces. Wow, we beat the British pretty bad. I was trying to annex this state, which was their puppet, but I can't, I can't do it. So unfortunately, we're gonna lose some prestige, but we will acquire all of our cores and then release them from the British so we can annex them later. And the British agree, we'll keep everything we've gained. And there we go, Indochina grew again. No more mobilization. And perfect, what a great war. We won. Let's take more of China, why not? Oh, that's why. 22 infamy for taking this state. Uh, no thanks, I'm good. Japan is going to war with Russia? Yes, sign me up. Why in the world has Russia come for me? I did not mean this, Japan, when I told you I would join the war. I thought you would beat them. I thought you would beat them. Thanks for making peace. Not very happy. Time to go to war with this nation that I freed from the British. Now that they're free, I take them. Yes, the borders look so good. This is amazing. All right, well, I think that this is a 
about the end of this episode of Victoria 2 A to Z, we were doing pretty well this game, I'm not gonna lie. Did really well, actually. Eighth great power could have been a little bit better, but I'm still glad we got great power. Knocked Spain out of the running. Culture map mode looks like this, and yeah, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you want to help the channel, or just if you had a good time watching this video. Helps me out a ton, it's really quick to do. If you want more videos like these, we've got the entire Victoria 2 A to Z playlist, all there for you guys to watch.